Holy <laughs> damn. brand new vlog for this vlog i'm basically sharing with you the entire journey of my teeth process so with the whole invisalign stuff and then the composite bonding and my gum laser and whitening and all that stuff if you've been keeping up you know i've been on invisalign for quite a while now and i'm finally done so i'm going to share with you the process of everything after the invisalign was done and then at the end i'm going to do a quick q a for all the questions that you guys asked me online about was it painful how long does it last how long does it take this and that whatever whatever so stay tuned till the end if you want to skip right on to the end you can do so as well but trust me you want to watch the experience of getting it done because some parts were like really uncomfortable and really let's just say not tasteful so um yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this vlog thank you guys for being here once again i love you guys remember if you're not subscribed to the channel already subscribe new content every tuesday and thursday and i guess i will see you at the dentist Good morning guys, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, so if you're wondering, yesterday Amin went to soccer, he hit football, and he broke his arm. Well, he didn't break his arm, I think he sprained it. You know when you're playing basketball and like ball hits you the tip of your finger and then like your finger goes purple and green and it's like swollen? Yeah, that happened to his wrist, so. Everyone's looking at me like, what the heck's going on? Basically, I am headed to the dentist because today's the day my Invisalign comes off. Well, I've already taken it off, but. Oh, mine stays on. Well, Amin still stays on. Whatever. And the best part is, if you guys watched the last vlog, Amin, was the one who was talking crap about my seat and now I'm finishing before him. Karma. So I'm basically getting composite bonding done today. I'm really excited because that means I don't have to wear my Invisalign during the daytime anymore. It's only at nighttime wearing a retainer. But yeah, so I'm excited about that. It's going to be like three hours or whatever, but I'm going to vlog it off for you guys, show you the experience, pain level, all that stuff. And I think they're going to like numb my gums or something. I don't know. I'm just scared. But it'll be fun. So I'm excited. So our internet in the studio is not working, so that is... Uh, kind of a problem right now for us in our work and my YouTube still not working right now So you guys still haven't seen any other vlogs So I'm just talking to you like you guys know like you guys know what's up to date and you really actually don't because actually when you're watching this You probably do but when I'm recording this you don't you know what I mean? This is not confusing. I just need that to work so I can post my videos man. I'm done with this crap I'm done with it. All right guys, so I'm finally at the dentist with my awesome dentist Dr. Parm and he's gonna quickly explain what we're doing today. Hi everyone, so yeah, Mandeep came to us. Um, there was a tooth that was really bugging her, so what we've done is we've done some Invisalign. Uh, we've got the tooth in line. Uh, we've done some tooth whitening as well, um, but now what we're doing is we're basically gonna enhance the smile even further and give her that wow factor. So what we've got planned today is we're gonna do some gum contouring because there's one gum on the right hand side which is slightly, slightly lower down than the other. Um, so we want to go for a symmetric look and we're also going to do some composite bonding. Um, look out for the end result. I'm so excited. Thanks for hooking it up, as always. Please don't cause any pain. <laughs> <laughs> my gums and I feel so weird right now. I feel like I'm gonna drool. <laughs>
already? Yep. So you're in me. Holy <laughs> damn. That's so different. They all match too. That's so nice. I love it. Oh my god, I don't think I'd ever have like that perfect tooth again. Is that one damn tooth? <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh, my mom's gonna be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we finished the teeth and now we're going to make retainers. So yeah, so we're gonna put the fixed retainer on to keep the teeth in the right place because obviously after the uh, in this line. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna just do top and lower. Feel a little bit strange, but I can get used to them quite quick. So I just got a fixed retainer put in. And there's one on top. It feels weird right now, but apparently I'm gonna get used to it. All right guys, so that was my process. Um, there were some parts I, I'm sure you guys saw where I was really uncomfortable and uh, I just had to like man it out kind of just to get it done. Didn't really have an option at that point. So I'm gonna go through some quick questions that you guys had and answer them and hopefully it helps explain the process better and that you guys have an understanding and it will help you decide whether you want to do this or you don't want to do this. So it's your call, it's up to you. So here goes. So if you guys didn't already know, I got my teeth done at Viva Dental Studio. The team is phenomenal. They're amazing. They're so sweet, so friendly. I felt comfortable the entire time, even when I first met them super super nice team and i'll leave all their details in the description box down below so make sure you go check them out if you guys are in the area definitely go give them a shout they will hook you guys up all right guys so the first question was how long was the entire process and why does it take so long so the reason why the whole process takes long before the constant bonding even starts is because of the invisalign journey and your invisalign journey depends on how much movement your teeth need or how much they need to be put in place or whatever the transition is so after that's done then you do the constant bonding and that's all done in one session. So you literally just need to go to the dentist at one time just to get your composite bonding done. You don't need to keep going back and forth and they do it all in one go. So the composite bonding appointment is booked for about two hours, but it mainly depends on how many teeth you want to get done. And at Viva, they do the composite bonding freehand. So they style your teeth freehand really, and it's not just like an automatic kind of like a placement kind of thing. I don't know what other places do. So the reason why it takes about two or more hours, depending on how many teeth you want to get done, is because it is a bespoke treatment. So there will be no two composite teeth that look exactly the same because everyone's teeth are different. And the art of it all is in the polishing and getting the result for really shiny, perfect, lustrous teeth. Question number two, does it hurt or and or is it pain-free? So composite bonding itself is pain-free because it requires no drilling. 
um, I guess it depends on what irks you. So like some people, like you know that chalkboard feeling um, that gives them like goosebumps and it's just like an irky feeling, but it is generally pain-free. But again, it just depends on your tooth history or what irks you and what creeps you out or whatever that stuff. So, but yeah, generally pain-free. So the whole procedure is non-invasive. So that's why it's pain-free, but there will be a local anesthetic applied depending on what you're getting done or what you're targeting. So for me, for example, I had to get the local anesthetic in my gums because I had to get gum laser. It sounds really, really cool, doesn't it? But basically with gum laser is, if you can see my gums are right here, they are basically not symmetrical. Cause like now, like, you know how like the, the, we have the curves of your gums. So they were, one was higher than the other. So they basically, as horrible as it sounds, they burned off like your skin, like your gum. So it matches the other side, so it's symmetrical, but pain-free i did not feel it at all if anything i only felt the needle going into my gum and i'm not a big needle person anymore but that's like obviously not like painful but it was uncomfortable for me and all obviously if you're treating like an old filling or a tooth decay or whatever it is so again it depends on your tooth history so the main question what is composite bonding so composite bonding is pretty much the placement of a white resin filling material that is placed on top of the surface of the tooth and you can pretty much use it to change the shape the color or even the size of your teeth because i guess it depends on like your face and you match it to your face structure and like whatever you want, like whatever, say you have your teeth and you're like, oh my God, this tooth is too small. So basically you can apply Compton bonding and fix that tooth size to match the rest of your teeth. And there's also many shades available depending on the color of your teeth. And it can go from like really, really white to like a normal color or whatever shade matches your teeth the best. So it doesn't look like fake, it looks natural and it, cause it matches and blends in well with your natural tooth color. Is it reversible? So even though composite bonding doesn't require drilling, it is not reversible. If you think about it, think of it like fake nails, there will be some glue left behind. So the same thing goes for composite bonding because it goes on top of your real tooth. So if you take the composite bonding off, there will be some glue left on your teeth. So since a, a composite bonding is the same color as your tooth, it's hard to differentiate whether it's your real tooth or if it's a composite. So that's why if they remove it or if you get it removed, it you still will have a little bit left behind because you can't tell exactly that, oh yeah, this is composite, I need to keep taking it off because it blends so well with your teeth. So it, there will always remain a little bit left over on your tooth. So what can composite bonding actually fix? So composite bonding is perfect for changing the shape of your teeth or tooth. If you only need to get one tooth done, you can just get one tooth done. It's really good at repairing broken teeth or like a chip in your tooth or making them wider or longer or slender. And it can also be used to make teeth darker or lighter, but it's mainly used to make your teeth more whiter. Is Compton bonding permanent? Is it a permanent fix? So Compton bonding does last a very, very long time, but it's recommended that you get it changed every three to five years because of fracture or staining that can happen along the way of living a normal life. What are the advantages of composite bonding other than a perfect smile? The main advantage is that perfect smile. So for me, the reason why I got it done is to perfect my smile because I was uncomfortable with the way that it looked on one side because of one tooth, which required me this whole process to get it done. But other than that, there are so many other advantages. It's something that can be repaired and fixed easily with just one visit to your dentist. It can last a very long time if you look after it very well. It comes in so many different shades to suit your needs or whatever you desire, whatever shade you need, whatever shape you need, because it's customly shaped. So it can like, you can literally custom create your own teeth. I saw this one person on TikTok. They had like, they, they need like fangs. Like they actually had like vampire fangs and it was made out of composite bonding i was like whoa that look i would bite my lip like a thousand times by accident it doesn't require drilling therefore it's pain-free also composite bonding can be used to protect your teeth and prevent wear of your teeth for a very long time the main asked question is how long does it take to fix just one tooth and to fix one tooth it basically depends on a severity of questions meaning um the condition of your tooth the style that you want the desired look that you want and it can go from 30 minutes up until a few hours again how long does it last it can last about three to five years but if you take good care of them it could last even longer than that and lastly are there any side effects you may need to alter the way that you eat your food for example you can't just take an apple and just like bite into it whenever you want you can't be open up opening up bottle caps with like your teeth like because you could 
crack or fracture your composite bonding. And then you also may need to avoid certain foods to prevent staining. Anyways, so those are all the main asked questions. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know down below. I will find the answers for you. I'll ask my dentist and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I can't wait to share the next one. I'm doing a challenge video with my brother and his girlfriend. But yeah, remember to always stay gold. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. You can put your dollar on me. Promise I'll be everything you want and you need. You got me going up and above. I can't get enough. It's like you put a spell on me. If you really about it, then I'm about it for sure. Yeah, you know I'm different than the ones before. Ain't nobody gotta know we can keep it on the low. You're the one I've been looking for.